Hello, hello everyone. It's Stray Fay here with another episode of Harvest Moon, a grand bazaar. Yeah. All right, we are almost done with spring. Uh, we just had another bazaar uh, with our bazaar upgraded to 25%, so best bazaar in the region. Uh, we had some new merchants. The one that we interacted with the most is probably Shen, who sold us seaweed. He also sells other ingredients and seeds. Uh, but yeah, the most important thing was that we were able to buy seaweed, and there was also a merchant, a faceless merchant, that sold the kitchen appliances that we got a pot from there, so we'll be able to make some seaweed stew for the next bazaar. Um, Ganon is also there, but we don't have the funds to get his his upgrades yet. I, I We will soon, though. <laughs> anyway, let's hear the results of this bazaar. Let's go hear the results. Get our get our fantastic get our fantastic prize. Uh, there will be new new prizes since we do have the upgraded bazaar. Uh, let me see. Do, do, do. I think it's what is it? for twenty five percent. I know, like last time we just kept getting milk. Uh, but best bazaar of the region at twenty five percent instead of potentially winning milk, eggs, and fertilizer, we can get Oliver Wool for first place, curry bread or jelly bread for second place. I feel like that's just something Felix would like to eat. And then 25, and at third place at 25% bizarre rank, honeycomb or oil. And then we'll get other stuff. If we're also the rep winner. Let's see what we got. Great. Looks like everybody is here. It's time to announce the bizarre results. An olive might be neat, but I can't really do anything with it yet. Our top three earners in third place with 31,500 gold. Joanne, congratulations. Oh, you sold a lot of... Oh, wait, what was she selling? Chocolate cookies? <laughs> she sold a lot of cookies at her stall this time. In second place with 40,500 gold. Wilbur Store, congratulations! Yay, you sold some uh, carpentry upgrades. I just wait and like get a place. Like his stuff is all expensive. And in first place with forty nine thousand three hundred and ninety gold. Yeah, within within the goal. Milan, congratulations! I did it! I won! I really, really won! Doesn't really matter if you won or not. <laughs> Next time, I'll be number one. Just wait. And the person with the happiest customers was... Wilbur, the customer said your service was top-notch. Rip, I did not get enough reputation. I guess I... It, it'll get easier to win reputation as we get more people flooding into the bazaar. I get, I get the profit winner prize. If I got profit and rep... Uh, in first place, prizes are actually kind of worse. Um, in first place, I would either get a rice or a good mayonnaise. Uh, second place, I would get curry powder or soy flour. And in third place, I would get apple jam or rice flour. Yeah, like, I guess like cooking and cooking ingredients, but can't really cook with all of it yet. Don't really have that much variety. You've all done the town proud. Keep up the good work. For being in the top three, Milan will receive, receive a token of thanks. An olive. I hope you like it. A single olive, like here, to smack that in my hand. Not even processed or anything. Our goal to be the best bazaar in the country is now a tiny bit closer. I think, what was I say, like 450,000 gold? It's kind of hard to keep track. It would have been nice if they gave you like a little meter. Like they did in Tale of Two Towns, like the little heart meter. If, like every time you want a cooking festival, like maybe, maybe they <laughs> they add, probably added that in Tale of Two Towns because that's a sequel to like kind of gauge your progress. But they don't really gauge your progress here, but there's like an invisible goal. We need to bring in more customers. Our goal for the next bazaar is 40,000 to 50,000 gold. Yeah, that, that goal there is just if you want to win the profit, the profit, the profit goal. All right, we can do it. Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar. Yay. I will be able to process this olive soon. I think tomorrow I actually unlock a windmill. 
Uh, assuming it's not raining, rain does affect. <laughs> rain does affect that. Uh, let's see, I want to keep my fertilizer. I did. I did get some trees. I think I'll be able to actually make some better fertilizer to fertilize those trees, because I have like the only thing I could buy like fertilizer is the the crappy like half star rank. That doesn't get it that many star rank points. But we will be able to shove hey, hey. some branches and weeds soon. We can get star and a half fertilizer. Anyway, that's not that's for later me. Uh, alright, so I threw my cow outside. There is a rival event I want to get today. Uh, I think it happens at four. But yeah, this is like the earliest we can get this next rival event is... is spring 22nd. So I gotta waffle around a bit. Woohoo! Uh, maybe I should update my bug list. I like catch bugs, but I don't really update my checklist because I'm so busy running around. Oh, right, we probably have some more characters here. Did I, did I mention Claude? His wife lives in the city. He likes salad and tea. <laughs> yeah, I think I like I only talked to him during like a festival. <laughs> I just like missed him before and just didn't think about him. But yeah, I think Ganon pops up on here. He's a carpenter requested by the mayor. He's apparently very skilled and came a long way from some island somewhere, maybe. We got Shen on here, a cheerful merchant. That's all the description we get. Uh, yeah, they don't have any heart gauges. You can't really befriend them. They just sort of exist. Uh, let me see. I have, like, hardly any <laughs> grasshoppers, but I should probably mark off the ones I found. Uh, I found the dirt grasshopper. You can find this thing, like, everywhere. Everywhere, all year. But let me just mark off that I found it. The spiked locust, which I did mock off. Alright. I'll do some bug hunting until around four-ish. Maybe throw myself in the river. Every three minutes. Because <laughs> someone pointed out that, like, yeah, I, I'm actually... I can actually bathe multiple times a day. Like, during the bazaar day. Uh, where I, I took like a bath in the morning and then like the bazaar ended and like I went to check to see if I could take a bath and I was like, oh, I didn't take a bath, but no, it's actually, you can actually take a, you can actually use the restroom every three minutes or like three in-game hours. I was like, huh, for some reason that didn't, didn't click. Because <laughs> I'm so used to like the rune factory role of like only one bath a day anymore than you'll, I don't know, your skin will dry out. You can only poop once a day. Uh, but yeah, we can, we can do it again midday. The path gives a pretty sizable chunk. Yeah. Yeah. Okie doke. Let's, let's go hunting. Still looking for this silly purple brush foot. And it says it's in the hotel area during the springtime and Zephyr Town. Keep missing the area though. <laughs> I think it's in an area that I always forget, like these ledges here. I always forget to like explore them. There's like one on the other side. I just never go down to it because usually I'm chasing people to befriend. And usually the people aren't over here. Then <laughs> the people aren't gonna jump on the ledges unless they're Kevin. Kevin likes to jump on ledges. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, there's a purple butterfly in either this area or in Zephyr Town that will get me the purple brush foot. Or the velvet brush foot. I still need that for my list. Hi, Kevin! Good morning, Milan. You look sleepy. I'm very sleepy. Oh, these are probably... Caught me on a swallowtail. What about the other one? Before it flees, it fled. The other town. <laughs> I'm like slightly paranoid while playing. Uh, yeah, the other day I like booted up OBS and I don't know what happened. I, I was like looking at my toe. Um, <laughs> it's like my computer just auto restarted, shut everything down and restarted. I'm like, huh? What? 
Like, what did I do? Like, I, I blinked. I blinked and my computer shut down. I was like, uh-oh, is OBS, like, broken or glitchy? I hope not. Maybe, maybe the last update, the last patch install update I did actually broke it. Don't you love it when you get, like, an update for a software and it actually, like, breaks other things? Like, uh... <laughs> I'm like kind of paranoid that I'm just gonna spontaneously like be just gonna spontaneously shut down. Like that's exactly what I need. That would break my little heart. I probably need to buy some fertilizer. I'll sell, I'll sell these bugs. Hello, Angelo. Here to watch me fling myself in the river. Love the I love this river so much. It's so beautiful. That, Farmer Milan just wants to, to dive right in. <laughs> Milan be thirsty. I don't know. And I'm also hoping my power just doesn't spontaneously cut off because we we're having a handyman install a car charger for my sister on the electric box. And they're probably gonna need to shut down the electricity for that, but I still technically have an hour. I hope before they work on it. This is gonna like watch my whole computer power down due to the loss of electricity. It's always, it's always hard to find time to record too, because I don't get, I don't get like time in the office all the time. On a private office, just a shared office. I just have to wait for my boyfriend to go to work, though. And then I can use it. Let's get rid of all these buggies. I wonder if I... Actually, I might be able to make some fertilizer tomorrow. That's better ranked. I'll sell the can. I think the can's only sold for 10 gold anyway at the bazaar. I would like to buy... I'd like to sell these flowers too. I probably need some more fodder. Doesn't hurt to have some more. And I'll buy... Buy one of those. It's so cheap. So, so cheap. That's not like throwing weeds and branches into the windmill to make fertilizer. It's not gonna pop up pop out instantly. It takes a little bit of time. Dang it. <laughs> Let's check I'll check all the crevasses. I always forget that this path is here. I saw a shadow, but I don't know what color it is. I hate when the butterfly goes like in this, like that loading zone area. I was like, that's not fair. You can go there, but I can't go there. What? Also, I hope yesterday's upload was okay. Like I. Couldn't. Uh, oops, gotta sneeze. Okay. I held it in. Like, I can't. I can't always do like an episode every day, but I do have like cutscenes recorded ahead of time, so I feel like it's okay if I have at least something <laughs> to post. Um, especially the hard events, like the the Bachelorette hard events. Since we're playing the the girls' side of things. Uh, you can at least see the boy side of things as well. I also have the rival events. Also pre-recorded. But yeah, during, during little, little down times. I have, I have some cutscenes prepared. You would have what I've been doing. I'm on volume 23 of Jobless Reincarnation. So the reading is going smoothly. Nope, nope, not purple. I'm looking for any purple butterflies I can find. They respawn at the hour. 
some of the bits. I, I kind of like the, the joking around that the main character does. I don't like the main character gets flack for being, like, like essentially a, a pervert, but... Some of, like, the internal jokes that he does. <laughs> like, he was doing one interaction where... Like, I don't want to spoil the interaction, but, like, he was, he was in a party. And, like, one of his party members, like, announces themselves as, like, a champion. And then his, like, other party member announces themselves as, like, a magician. And he's like... And then when it comes to announce himself, he's like, I, I'm a magician. I'm a magician, too. <laughs> and then the enemy he was fighting, he's like, hey, you can't... You can't be a magician! Like, she's the magician! He's like, uh, okay, then I guess I am the princess? Like, what do you want from me? And then there's just, like, a bit where he gets kidnapped because the enemy thinks he's the princess. And the princesses always get kidnapped. <laughs> and he just goes with it. He's like, okay. He's like, I, I guess this is my life now. Oh, I should probably take a bath. I should probably take a bath. It'll probably be the last bath of the day. Uh, the event, the event triggered is at four. Although, we might wait till five so we can get our cow back in. I love wrestling with that cow. And some cow wrestling. It's easier to wait till five. It's, it's doable. You can get them in before, before five. Uh, you'll just tear your hair out doing it. No, I just want to get rid of the flowers. I pick up the flowers and I'm like, I don't really want the flowers. <laughs> I don't really want the flowers though, because they spoil. And then it's just rotten stuff in my in my bag. I do have enough money because I bought all the fodder I need for ne the next few days. Uh, let's see, just trying to make sure where I trigger this. Hopefully it triggers. Um, it should on Sunday. For some reason on Fogu, um, it says some event triggers as like being on Saturday. Typically, the bazaar happens on Saturday, but oftentimes you'll get like a birthday happening on a Saturday, which pushes the bazaar the next day. Uh, so it's like a like a day you can just play and trigger events. But not all of them. Some of them say you can trigger it on Saturday, and while trying to trigger cutscenes, uh, they would not trigger on Saturday. So I don't know if it's just like something else stopping it from triggering on Saturday, or or if like Fogo is just wrong in that information. Uh, I don't have you pick it up. Got velvet brush foot. First time you caught this insect in the cage. Uh, let's mark that off. Do, do, do. Finally. It took forever. <laughs> I just need the purple brush foot. Which I, I also says I can find in this area. Also says I can find in Zephyr Town. I'm walking in circles. Alright, we should probably head to the event place. We can also catch the purple brush foot in summer. On our farm. That might actually be easier. <laughs> that actually might be easier <laughs> of a place to hunt it down from. There we go. No? Is it from the other side? Or is it just not gonna trigger today? Okay, this side. This side works. There we go. This is Lloyd and Sherry's Rival event. I don't know why it wants you to walk in the opposite direction, even though this is like the same area. Hello, Sherry. How are you doing? Oh, hello. What are you two up to? <laughs> Lloyd showed me a flower on he got on his last trip. I've never seen one like it. It's lovely. <laughs> if you like it, I'd be glad to give it to you. Oh, pretty flower for a pretty lady. It'll look better on you than on me. Oh, he gave it to Marion. Uh, this is, this is supposed to be Sherry and Lloyd, not not Lloyd and, and Lloyd and Marion, is it? Why, thank you. That's very kind. I have one for you too. 
Cherry. Many women in the country I visited wore these. Okay, he's just macking on all the ladies. Every every lady gets flour. Here, let me put it on your hat. Spun her around. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you look good. Like a flower princess. Um, is that a good thing? Oh, you're pretty. I think it's cute. Yeah, me too. Oh. Wow, <laughs> I like your little, I like your little, little pout. Um, thank you, Lloyd. Yeah, that's their first rival event. See if any feelings will bud. We'll get the next one next year. A little bit of a wait, but. How it goes. I don't, I'm not sure why it's like a requirement to wait a year in this game, because even if you trigger trigger all four rival events, they don't get married, which is sad, but. Hey. Like, yeah, it's like, I think this is like one of the last games, other than the remakes, that have rival events. I don't recall Tale of Two Towns and every other iteration after that having like, even pairings. Uh, but yeah, this is like the last game that has rival events, and then the first game that they just stopped marrying off couples. It's sad. Because <laughs> I like I like it when the town grows. It's like, people get married. It's five. It's time to put my cow away. Are busted. <laughs> there it goes. Zippity doo <laughs> uh, I guess I can put away the coin. I'll probably get another uh, storage page upgrade next bazaar I go to if I have the extra income. Alright, let's go to bed. Wait, let me just make sure my cat made it in. <laughs> so see it with my own eyes. Sleeping. Take a nap. Alright, let's go to bed. Now, now we'll uh, zip through the week. Good morning, Milan. Who is this? Spring 23rd? This should be the first windmill. How's your farm doing? I want to discuss windmills with you today, if that's alright. There's one near the entrance to your farm. Yeah, it was locked now, but now he'll unlock it. Windmills are very useful and can help you a lot. They use the power of the wind to make things. It's, actually, it's quite convenient, actually. Please follow me. Here we are. Some, uh, serious mechanisms going on in here. Are you surprised? It's great, isn't it? I said earlier that windmills can make many different things. This windmill will ferment whatever you decide to use. For instance, milk becomes cheese and eggs become mayonnaise. Although, do you really ferment eggs to make to make mayonnaise? And don't you just like mix it? Uh, splitting hairs here. You can make many things from simple ingredients. Now let's go through how to use the windmill. First, place the item you wish to ferment here. After that, you'll be able to choose what you want to make. The necessary ingredients are chosen for you, so just decide how many you want. You can make up to six types of items at once. I think in stacks of ten, unless you put in a wonderful, uh, that increases that limit. Uh, that meter tells you what you're making right now. It also tells you how much time is left until the item will be complete. The time needed will depend on the wind's strength. Stronger winds mean shorter times. When this light starts to blink, your item is ready. 
And then you just take your completed item out of here. And I'll demonstrate. And that's the basics of how you use a windmill. Oh, do you happen to have any wonderfuls, Milan? You know that's not true. Uh, I think we, are, we can buy our first wonderful in fall of year two. And then each season after that, um, at a stall called Diego's Delights, you'll have another wonderful. So, like, you'll get blue at first and then orange um, in the winter of, of year two. And then spring of year three, I think you get... Uh, what was it? I forgot what color it was. Oh, green. And then so, summer of year three, you'll get yellow in the wonderful rotation. Uh, fall of year three, three you'll get red. And then finally, uh, winter of year three, you'll get the purple one, which will unlock, like, extra items, like the accessories and the manufacturing windmill. <laughs> What are those? I don't know what, what wonderfuls are. Wonderfuls can make the windmills more powerful. There are six kinds with each of their own unique effects. So yeah, they instead of instead of wonderfuls being tool upgrades, they are now slotted into the windmill instead. You can only fit one wonderful in the windmill at a time. If you find one, just put it in here. They'll have different effects. Some of them will speed up. Some will speed up uh, processing time. Um, others will either increase the stack you can put in the windmill or increase the number of stacks. Like, instead of having a stack of 10, you can put, like, a stack of 30. Or instead of fitting, like, 6 items to process, you can fit 12 items to process at the same time. Um, I know the red wonderful increases the star rank of whatever you put in, and then the purple one is like will unlock like extra stuff. Like in this windmill, it'll unlock like extra wines. Um, the manufacturing one is probably more important because it'll unlock the, the accessories, the charms that like boost certain things like affection and and wind power and bell power. All right. Anyway, that's how you use the windmill. We will get to know how to use the windmill. Because we will be using it a lot once we get all three of them. You remember everything I told you? Yep, I don't repeat that. Good, please use the windmill with care. Ah yes, here's a helpful tip if you want to shorten the waiting time. Stand near the blades of the windmill, then blow into the microphone. I have a mic here, do I? I think, I think it's that dot here. <laughs> it doesn't say mic on it, but I'll blow into it. Uh, should work, unless, uh, loopy in putting the capture card, removed it. I'll find out. I know it works on my other DS. Something very interesting should occur. You'll lose your breath. <laughs> Give it a try. There are two other windmills here in town, so I'll fix them up too. I'll come tell you when you can use them. Well, I'll be going now. Enjoy using the windmill. Thank you. So first one, check out, make item, Let's see what we can make. We can make fertilizer. Uh, we have lots of branches and not enough weeds. I will, I'll, I'll make some branches. <laughs> it's not like I need to save space for anything else. So yeah, we hear the pounding. It's, it's pounding. Pounding that compost. Yeah, so we got cheese, good cheese, great cheese, herb cheese. We can mix herbs with our with our milk. Yogurt. We need we need we need some mint to make some oat y yogurt. Some some things are a little bit more complicated to make t than others. I probably won't make a lot of these things. You actually don't need to make all the windmill stuff for completion. For some reason, there's no shipping list in this game. The only list that's like not completed for you and that you need to complete on your own are critters, fish, and cooking. Like all the windmill items are already unlocked in your assets. Uh, butter, we need oil. Kinda sucks with the butter and the like and the mayonnaise, you need to buy oil from Shen. Which is usually oil will usually be lower rank, so um by the average, every time you make like a butter or a mayonnaise, it'll on average be lower rank what you wish it would be. 
mayonnaise, got miso, we gotta get some- is that, is that soy powder? I think we can buy that from Felix, like, eventually. Either- it's either Felix or Diego's Delights, I might be mixing up the two. Got wine, we have some grapes growing, might be able to make some wine and red and red wine and white wine. There's, there's a difference, we need our muscat grapes to make white wine. Uh, make a nice rosé by mixing the two. And then you could also mix red wine or white wine with other fruits to make different flavors. Uh, that looks like yogurt and corn. Shisha. Pineapple wine. Banana wine. Look at all these, look at all these flavors. <laughs> if there's so many flavors that they want you to craft. It's, it's an interesting concept. Champagne. I think that's rose wine that we process even further. That looks that looks like rose wine to me. And then oh boy, we got the pickled stuff. I'll probably be making pickled stuff because Claire, her liked her loved items are few and far between, but she loved she loves pickled stuff. I think her favorite thing is pickled olives. We need to grow some olive trees. Can we make olive oil? We have an olive. <laughs> Did I pass it? I can just kind of quickly scrolling through. We can make tea once we have a tea tree. Many combinations. Looks like looks like fall tree leaves. The the brown ones are in fall. You get you get spring depending on when you harvest the tea. You either have it in spring, summer, or fall. Looks like a lot of fall tea can be mixed with uh, some flavors. And then we have some other recipes that are blocked out. Uh, they will be unblocked out if we slot a purple wonderful in there. And it's it's stuff like wine and like very extensive teas. Cannot remove, cannot remove what's not there. Oh, this is gonna be ready in like 12 seconds. If I wanted it to be faster, <laughs> I could blow. Do a little jingle when you succeed, and then it'll, it'll lower the processing time. You can't- I can't really compare it though, because, I mean, the, the fertilizer is practically instant, so. And then the windmills will spin faster the rest of the day, and there'll be different wind levels each day. Um, typically during a storm, you'll get like a three wind day, the, the windmill will spin very fast. Alright, we'll try to use our, our better our better fertilizer. For the trees. Although I'm not sure how much I wanna hunt down materials. If it's like within grabbing range, I'll grab it. Uh, but otherwise yeah, I do wanna I do wanna speed along the days and get to the next bazaar. Oh, these are crappy weeds. It's it's fine. Some of that. Press start. The bad thing about this DS <laughs> versus the DS I usually play with, the power button for some reason is where the start button usually is on my other 3DS. And yeah, that's just like I'm about to just power down the DS on accident. It's gonna happen. It's already done. I I, I breathed and it was done. Alright, now it's Ethel's birthday coming up in a few days. And Daisy's! Aww. Before I get her some sugary thing, it's fine. I don't need to. I don't need to worry about it. Go to bed. And <laughs> we're not even gonna- we're not even gonna jump in the river. It's just- let's just get through the day fast. Let's get to the next bazaar. Make sure we take care of our cow every day. We don't want it to feel neglected. And we gotta fertilize our tree, obviously. See if there's any weed. No weed. No weed, no problem. That's a crappy fertilizer. It's fine. Oh, they're already sprouts. Oh my. And a honcha all over this. There we go. That make, probably makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> 
Let's go to bed without saving. Feels like I'm forgetting something, but this is how it is. We'll be spending some more time outdoors in the summer. Uh, I think the first of summer. As long as we exit out the front door. <laughs> Sometimes I don't trigger this because I keep I keep exiting out the side door where my cow is. But summer first, we will be gifted. We'll, we'll be blessed with a fishing rod, our first fishing rod, and we'll start we'll start filling out our our fish compendium. That'll give us an excuse to put our cow out to pasture. Oh, no. Sad. It's okay. Fertilizer. I think, like they went like the next step for fertilizer in A New Beginning. Like, I kind of forgot this was a concept, but yeah, I remember in the story of Seasons New Beginning, your animals could finally poop. And then you had like compost. You had, you had to deal with all the compost. It made sense, I mean, where does all the poop go? I'd always imagine in games like A Wonderful Life that Takakura would clean up the animal poop for you. Because he would always do his rounds around the farm and he would eventually like get into your barn or chicken coop. So like, oh, he must be the one cleaning up the animal poop. But when you're like a one-man show, <laughs> like who, who, who cleans the poop? The cows just graciously defecate outside where you can't see it. The cows aren't like that. I think some animals, um, they will... They'll poop in like a corner. I think alpacas do that. Might depend on the animal too. <laughs> like some animals have behaviors though, where they'll they'll pick a particular spot to poop in. Yes, very very interesting conversations. Well, some animals will just go where they stand, or some animals like cats, where they'll just they'll try to bury it because they don't want the scent. You don't want other animals picking up on the scent. Drown in the river for good times. Fertilizer's done. Nah, I'm going to bed. Takes too long. Takes too long to jump in and the luck factor is really low. <laughs> Hello, who's here? Milan, are you here? Who dis? Hi. Hi there, Milan. I wanted to discuss something with you today. All oh, right. On the 30th, we are holding our annual tea party. It's customary for the town farmer to bring tea. I don't have tea though. Oh wait, I do have tea. <laughs> I can jump in the river for tea. Uh, I think I might have, did I sell those? Or I think I kept those. But anyway, in any case, um, you get a freebie. Don't worry, I'll do you a favor this time and give you some tea. You can either use this for the festival, or we can sell it. <laughs> it's spring tea. You can give that to me at the tea party as your contribution. You can also give me a different kind of tea if you have it. I'm pretty sure I have straight tea in my inventory. I don't remember I sold, if I sold it. However, it has to be a decent quality. Don't give me rotten tea. Um, if it's in a can, then it's preserved forever. You'll have to bring your own tea next year. I'll be on my way home then. I'll see you at noon on the 30th at the plaza. Alright, so yeah. There's also an another festival in a different season called the Wine Festival. Um, it's just a little event. Uh, and you get friendship for, for providing providing the item. Yeah, so. Happens. It's happened in a few days. I could process the spring tea, I think, into something else. Rainy day. I don't have to water my non-existent crops. Ooh. It's also a heavy rain day. I already, I already brushed you. I'm gonna put, I'll put the crappy fertilizer on you today. Oh, 
find a weed. One, one whopping fertilizer. Uh, that's <laughs> the one annoying part is scrolling. Scrolling takes forever. Beer. Kind of odd to see like alcohol <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Nowadays, it's always like censored. On the older games, they were able to get, get, get away with it, but I remember Magical Melody, they call it Soda. I think a Tale of Two Towns European edition, they called the wine syrup. You know what it is, though. You guys all know what it is. Uh, I can use this to make green tea. If I had multiple different kinds, I can combine them. Is that the green tea can? It can turn into matcha. Our options are limited though, so let's see if I can make let's see if I can make some green tea. And just two hours, thirty minutes. I'll be ready. Uh, that'll be ready if I go to sleep. Where we go? <laughs> like losing losing my breath here. <laughs> like oh gosh. Uh, I just wanted to see how much that reduces the time. Okay, I'd like to reduce that time by like an hour. This- if it's like a really long processing time, like some perfumes take like months. Um, especially if you try to make a stack of it. Uh, obviously you have to keep blowing into the microphone day by day to like keep that bonus. Like the next day, the windmill bonus will- will fade. Alrighty. It was weird, but we're going to bed. Let's go to bed without saving. Alright, it's biz the bazaar today. Maybe your store will get lots of business. Can't forget to process our seaweeds too. A creamy consistency goes well with rice. It's an odd, odd thing. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I don't know what you use seaweed stew for. I, I I imagine it being salty. Like the way it's described, though, it's like, is it like a condiment? Makes it sound like sound like it's a condiment of some sort. Let's finish cooking the rest of them. We need seaweed stew. It's the same. Now we'll hopefully be able to buy some more. Um, this bazaar. You're not guaranteed, though, that Shen will sell seaweed um, during spring or summer. Sometimes the inventory rotates out with something else, like a sea urchin. So you might have to save scum, or you might just have to maybe skip the next bazaar, just wait till next week and just do other stuff. Waffle about. <gasps> Our cow is a big cow! She's a big girl now! Now I can milk her! <laughs> And then we have the windmill. We can turn the milk into cheese. How is her heart doing? I know I haven't. Okay, she gained a heart. Uh, but now that I can milk her, we'll also gain some extra affection. Uh, where is the milker? We need that. This will be a daily thing. Milk, milk. I'll put you outside today because we'll be spending most of the day at the bazaar. So you can enjoy. Enjoy the weather. Alright, go, Kremia. You are now giant bubble cow. Which is actually not my favorite thing, but. <laughs> uh, the bubble cows are cute, but I hate how it's been a persistent thing each Harvest Moon game. I, I miss. I like my wonderful life cows, they're, they're always my favorite cow design. They look somewhat realistic. Not all the way realistic. Like, real dairy cows are a little bit more angular. Because they're using uh, their nutrition to make milk. Instead of putting on body fat, but... 
They're like a nice blend of like realistic yet still cute. Uh, I can make cheese. I also have a mint. Do I want to make some yogurt? <laughs> Why not? I have the mint. Now is this green tea? Can I use that to make matcha? Is that how that works? You can also sell the tea, but I guess I'll, I can participate in the festival. Yeah, you can use the green tea to make matcha. Yogurt takes a little longer. I'll be ready by tomorrow. <laughs> Getting my my glass blowing technique going. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I lose hey, yeah. I lose a little bit too much breath. I'm like, oh god. Hey, yeah. I didn't fertilize my tree today. I'm very forgetful. I'm just a very forgetful person. Yeah, I did. Uh, let's head to the bazaar. We have our... <laughs> we, we, we moved on from being a, a turnip salad stand. We are now a seaweed stew stand. I'm like, interested in weeds. Pick up every weed I see. Dang it! Okay. Don't stress out. We'll get We'll get that butterfly eventually. Even if I have to wait till the next season, where it's probably in a more convenient place. Hey, yeah. uh, hey. I don't have you! Why? Hey, yeah. Where the heck are you? <laughs> You're like, white off screen. Hey. It's fine, at least I know it exists. I'm not- I'm not mad. I'm- I'm perfectly calm. Good morning, Milan. What a beautiful day. Of course, I say any day you feel healthy and strong is a beautiful day. <laughs> he even says that on like a, like a hurricane day. He's like, what a nice day. I laugh in the face of weather. Alright, so we can sell our seaweed stew for 390 gold. So we're flipping. We bought it for 210. We're selling it for 390. So it's kind of like... I see it as kind of like, you buy a seed bag, it's like around that, that price range, like 120, 200, and then, like, just, you do all that work to water it and you only sell it for like, 80 gold more. <laughs> this, is a, this is a pretty good, this is a pretty good profit for like, doing absolutely nothing. You do need some, some start, there's some startup cost, you need to be able to buy the pot, and you need to be able to buy the seaweed in bulk, but... Yeah, this is, this is easy. <laughs> this is easy for me to do. Alright, I'll do this bazaar. I'll probably end off after the bazaar, because I'm worried about the power shutting off on me, so... <laughs> yeah, if we do a 50-minute episode, that'll be okay. Just gotta make sure I, like, shut everything down before it force shuts down. Because stuff doesn't save on a force shutdown. Alright, it's time to begin. Is everybody ready? I've got a lot of eager customers today. Don't let them leave disappointed. The goal for today's bazaar is to earn 40,000 to 50,000 gold. Good luck. The bazaar is now open. Hey, look at all the balloons! So much litter. I'm gonna, like, probably fall into some field in the distance and some animal's gonna eat it. Anyway. Ring, 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 ring. I got seaweed stew here. Creamy, blacky goodness. I don't know what you'd put it on. Put it on rice, put it on your toast. I don't know. People put weird thing on toast like beans. <laughs> All right, first taker, bam. Come get your seaweed stew here. Your creamy condiments. I can put my other flower there. Alright. Oh, the nice thing about only having two items, though, side by side, is that you can, you can like, stand in one place, like, kind of in the in-between between two items and just 
sell stuff there, so I, if I, like, position myself between the two seaweeds, I don't have to, like, run back and forth. I can just sell the two customers at a time. And I can just be lazy. I don't have to use my thumb. My other thumb. I can- I just have to use my right thumb to ring this bell. Ring, 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 ring. Come get your seaweed stew. Come on, Grandpa. I, li I like it when Grandpas come by and mistake me for their grandchildren. Oh, there's Shen. Coming in a little- they not Shen. Ganon, coming in a little late. Already have 10,000 gold. <laughs> so we can- I think the storage upgrades, like page one was, one page was 10,000. I think the next one, it like goes up by 10,000, so the next one will be 20,000. I think it's a little pricey, but I mean, the amount of money that we get is going to scale up fairly quickly. <laughs> All right, getting more people in, L the lunch rush. Come get your seaweed stew. You can have it for lunch. Just eat it out of the jar like peanut butter. I don't know. Come on. Come on down. We got only one taker. It's five. Oh, very nice. Thank you. I'm not getting a lot of uh, people asking me questions. So I don't think we're going to win the reputation bonus. But, I mean, we'll get, we'll get money. Money money is good. Thank you, Grandpa, for buying four. Come get your seaweed stew. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, we have a question. I was wondering if you could tell me where the wrapping stall is. I'm busy. It's down to the left. Uh, up and to the left is wrong. So yeah, down and to the left. Oh, thank you for telling me. I'll come back later and buy something. Reputation went up by a lot. We got 10 points. Not gonna let us win, but something. Come get your seaweed stew. Really, come get it. <laughs> come get it so I can leave. What have I been doing anyway? I read another manga this morning. Giving myself a little break from Jobless Reincarnation. I already forgot the title. It's another villainous reincarnation story. Uh, I think it was like the villainous's guide to not falling in love. And of course, she ends up. She always makes the love interest fall in love inadvertently. I, I'm a sucker for those kind of stories. I've also been watching an anime by myself um, called Migi and Dali. Someone, someone that I talked to on Discord um, recommended it to me. It's so weird. <laughs> I kind of want to show it to my boyfriend, but I don't know if he'll be his cup of tea, but man, it's like... It's both like comedy and creepy. It's like, it's really good watching that like in my downtime while I'm like eating stuff. It's only, I think it's only 12 episodes. Yeah, whoever whoever made that content was like tripping out. <laughs> Not the trippiest stuff I've seen, but yeah, definitely definitely weird. Hi, Ivan. Looks like you're working hard. How are things going? They're great. <laughs> Good to hear. That's the type of positive attitude I like to see. <clears throat> Come buy stuff. We're gonna hang out. Freya's here too. Hello, Milan. There's something nice about the Spring Bazaar. I think it's my favorite. It, it has a nice atmosphere. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you'll appreciate me yelling at him, telling him to buy something. Ah, uh, yes, it has a nice atmosphere. See the petals falling down from all around. You think so too? That makes me happy. I'm just gonna give him a British accent while his brother Dirk will somehow just have no accent. He got his accent from his parents, and then I don't know where the parents are. Sold all the items you had on display. Uh, I think I'll- I'm done. Yes. Yeah, so far, you've earned 53,910 gold. You met the goal. That's great. We met the money goal. Oh, sweet. He has more seaweed. <laughs> he has more seaweed today. Uh, oh yeah, I was a little bit worried about that. 
Uh, Felix has a new item. For sale, I got the stethoscope. Equip it and use it to find the status of animals. Not really too useful in actually finding out the status. Uh, but if you have chickens, uh, usually our interactions with your chickens are limited to just like picking up, picking them up and throwing them. This will allow you to talk to your chickens. You can already talk to your cows and sheep. Um, so the stethoscope isn't as useful for them, but yeah, this will be useful for, for our chickens when we get them. We'll buy that. Nice purchase. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Alright, I see. Well, feel free to come back anytime you want. What else do I want to buy? I can buy... I can buy as many seaweeds as I can, but if I buy too many, then they might spoil before I can sell them all. Alright, well, what do you have for sale? You have more chocolate cookies and some milk tea. I go well with the chocolate cookies. Red wine. And a glass. I like how you can make red wine and then like you have to you have to cook it to make red wine in a glass. Uh maybe another page will be nice. I do want to go fishing when summer hits. And there's so many different fish types that it might be hard to store them all. Probably best to just opt in just selling to Raul, but let's see. I'll, I'll order. I'll order something. Uh, how much for storage? You only need 20. I can afford that. I can either get that or I get a frying pan. I don't really need the frying pan now, though. The pot, the pot is suiting my purposes for now. I'll expand storage this time. I'll have, I'll have everything done by tomorrow. Ha ha ha. And for the rest of my money, what? what just got done. <laughs> Something got done on the wheel middle. There, there was a ding. I'll, I'll use the rest of my funds to buy seaweed. And I'll sell that next week. Do, 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 do. A thousand. I probably have saved my other money to buy more. Uh, but this will be good for now. I could with it took us like half the bazaar to sell that much seaweed that we did. We we could probably sell full three stacks each week. That that looks doable. Right, anywho, we got what we need. I could stick around for the closing ceremony, but I mean the closing ceremony kind of like the same. It's it's the same. No. Dollars for more butterflies. Uh, the more important thing is to watch the ceremony in the morning. Hey. Hey. Doo -doo. Okay, I think I'm ready. Probably get ready to end off early. Just looking for like extra weeds and branches. <laughs> probably also waffling until twelve, or not twelve, five. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't want to wrestle with my cow. Got yogurt. We got matcha. I could sell the yogurt. Do, 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 do. Anything sparkly? Not sparkly. Okay. It, it just, it was just a delayed sparkle. The yogurt does spoil. We'll have to sell the yogurt. To sell the yogurt uh, next week before it goes, before the freshness goes down too far. All right, but yeah, the, the seaweed stew method is easy money. We just n might not be able to do it each week. And then once we hit fall, we'll get a better method. The same is the same effect as just talking without the stethoscope too. It's actually faster to talk without the stethoscope. Uh, yeah, because we don't get that text box. I guess it'll be useful for chickens. So, waiting a few seconds. All right, it's five. Time to go. Time for bed. 
Time to go to bed. Cows are home. Alright, so what's the next on the agenda? We have tea party on spring 30th. We'll attend it. I think we get like a bonus of like 500 friendship points with like everyone who attends. Uh, might not be useful now though, because I mean we're, we're kind of sleep scumming at this stage, so everyone's affection is just going to degrade regardless. Uh, but once we do start affection grinding in later years, it'll, it'll be useful to attend. It does take a little bit of time though. We have to wait till 12 to start the, to start the tea the tea ceremony. And then we'll, we're gonna get to summer. We're gonna get to summer next episode. Felix's birthday on summer. We'll be able to fish. Okay. There'll probably be some new trees we can buy at, at Sherry's seed stall. Alright, anywho. It'll be a good a good ending point. I hope you guys are having a fun and relaxing time. And I'll see you in the next episode. Uh bye bye.